Hi, uh, let me go ahead and go over the syllabus here. Um, so of course, this is the Canva 111, 112 syllabus that's posted in Canvas. And it's updated for fall 2020, kind of unique here, doing everything online. So online labs, online lecture. Um, probably the immediate first question you have is how are the lectures and everything gonna work? Um, I'm gonna post YouTube videos like the one you're watching right now. And you can watch these you know, whenever you like, whatever time, whatever day of the week. Um, just make sure you do that um, assignments that are due within 48 hours after I post the videos. So there's no Zoom, there's no login, we don't meet face to face for labs. E everything's online at your house, um, kind of at your own speed. Hopefully your internet's a lot better than mine. So, um, you know, this is a, a two-part class. So Chem 111, 112 is college chemistry. So we're gonna learn a whole lot of chemistry. Um, Here's the course content, um, you know, we cover up through about, um, you know, one through one through eight here, okay? Um, here's the things I hope, hope that you will learn afterwards. Um, and uh, <clears throat> this is where my main syllabus starts. So first of all, to contact me, I prefer that you use the Canvas inbox. Um, and I'll show you a little tutorial of what, how to get into Canvas and what it looks like and everything. Basically, you click inbox and uh, you choose the course of the professor. I don't remember how it works. And then you type in a, a subject and then you just type away a message. And um, that's the best way. I get a lot of spam in my email accounts and Canvas is only messages from students and I know exactly what class you're in and everything, and I can provide links to a document in Canvas, or I can add an attachment or talk about your grades really easily and very quickly. So I also have push notifications on my phone using the Canvas app so I can, if it buzzes, oftentimes I lean over, pick up my phone, and I can respond to something qu really quickly. If it's something more complicated, I got, got to go to the computer and look it all up. Um, so anyway, what about the textbook? As I mentioned in the other video posted on uh, Canvas, there's a free online OpenStax textbook um, and the lab manual is posted through Canvas. You need to buy a scientific calculator and it should have these features here, exponential functions, logarithms, anti-log, square root, cube root, and you know, the usual plus minus divide times. A Casio solar power calculator costs $8.99 or something like that at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. I like the solar powered ones because they don't run out of batteries. And if you forget and leave it in your car, it doesn't burn up and drain. So homework, um, as you can see here, there's going to be a lot of small homework assignments. I made the mistake in past classes of giving people a little bit too much freedom and giving one big homework assignment before each uh, test and I realized that students were cramming at the last minute, weren't studying well for the test, and did not have enough time to ask questions, get help, get feedback. So every single lecture is gonna have um, a small homework assignment right after that, and it's due within 48 hours. Uh, these are simple, uh, short, sweet, to the point, multiple choice uh, questions. They'll be on Canvas, so it's a Canvas quiz, but it's a homework and you're allowed two attempts for each uh, homework. So pay, pay attention to which ones you missed and go back, read your book, maybe watch a lecture or something, think about it, double check your calculations, and then try to answer those questions differently and hopefully correct the second time around. Um, the highest score of those two attempts will be kept in the grade book. The lowest homework score is, is dropped for any reason. So there's gonna be uh, quite a few homeworks, uh, 30, more than 30 homework assignments this semester. And um, the lowest homework assignment is dropped if you forgot to turn it in. Um, you scored really low on it, just for any reason, okay? Uh, homework counts as 20% of your final course grade. Uh, I don't accept late work because right after the due date and due time of the homework, I release the key to the whole class immediately. The next minute somebody can click on that link and then, oops, sorry about that, download the answers or review the answers and things like that. So it's unfair to somebody who has an extra day or an extra hour because they can get the answers from their friends. So that's, I don't know how else to do this without making a different assignment for everybody in the class, which would be hard, really hard for me. 
so uh, no late work. Uh, midterm exams. Um, there are four midterm exams during this semester, and they count as 30% of the course grade. The, due, uh, the times of those exams are tentatively scheduled on the course calendar uploaded on Canvas. And um, these uh, cover about two to three chapters each, so they're kind of evenly spaced throughout the semester. And uh, the exams are, you can look at the sample exams to see what the format is, but I'll tell you now, they're half multiple choice and half worked problems. Uh, the multiple choice, you know, you just choose A, B, C, D, whatever, and that can be done online, right? And it's automatically graded. You get a score for that half of the exam. And then for the uh, worked problems, you'll have to print those uh, problems on a printer. Um, you know, if you have a printer at home, that's great. If your friend, your neighbor, uh, uh, you can go to the DCC library and use the printer there. Um, you can go to uh, Office Max, you know, and request a printer, uh, print out. It's four cents if you're in if you're in town or near some place that can do photocopies and prints for you. And then you'll have to use a pencil and uh, calculator and whatever, and uh, write all the answers in there. Show your work very carefully in the correct way. And you'll take a picture, and then you'll use a scanner app, it's called, on your phone, and convert that to a PDF, and then upload it uh, into Canvas. And that's the way you turn it in. And so um, they're equally weighted, right? So the multiple choice questions are 50 points, and then the work problems are 50 points. But you have to show your work properly to receive full credit. You just can't write the answer. Um, and uh, no exams are dropped. They all count. And there's no makeup for midterm exams. It takes a very long time for me to create um, the questions, the concept questions, and even the work problems for an exam. And to do this individually for each student is a little bit problematic, especially when I have to make all these videos and upload them and do all this editing and stuff. So please try to uh, take your exam and turn it in when it's due. If you do miss one, say for a valid reason, you're out with the flu or worse, even COVID or a funeral or you know something like that, um, let me know and uh, I can make the final exam count extra to replace that um, missed exam, okay? And, and that's for valid excuses only. Um, the final exam for this course is uh, comprehensive. It's going to be similar to the uh, multiple, I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to be similar to the uh, midterm exam. It's going to be half multiple choice and half worked problems. And it's going to be just a, a very broad kind of weighting of the whole class. You're going to have easy questions like, is gold an element? And you're going to have hard questions like, you know, calculate the concentration of this acid from this acid base titration. Um, so again, the work problems, you need to print those out um, with a paper and a pencil, put all your work down on there, uh, take a picture, upload it through Canvas. For the lab, we're going to um, convey those through video. Um, there's no simulations, there's no um, uh, lab kit or take at home act take home activities that you have so you don't need a lab coat or a goggles and um i'm sorry i forgot to mention about the final exam the final exam is worth 20 percent of the uh, course grade uh the laboratory uh each lab is going to have different parts you're going to have um you know kind of a pre-lab video that introduces the concepts the background you know how this how that works um, and then you're going to have a pre-lab quiz, which is taken individually, and that's worth 25 points. And then you're going to have um, actual lab videos that are me demonstrating the procedure, mixing things in a test tube and holding them up to the camera so you can observe the color of things. And a data sheet or a post-lab report, okay? Um, and you can choose to work on the post-lab report individually, or you can choose to work on the post-lab report in pairs, okay? A maximum of two students. If you do decide to work in pairs, uh, your group of two will be given a 5% bonus to your uh, final score, okay? And that's my thank you to you for me only having to grade one lab report instead of two. So you get 5% bonus. 
Um, the two of you could meet online through, you know, the usual social media platforms, uh, Facebook Live or um, Face Face FaceTime. I meant to say Facebook or uh, uh, Skype. Um, or you could also meet in person if you're really close friends and maybe you even live in the same, you know, neighborhood or something. Uh, also in Google, uh, there are tools for chatting. Okay. We all have a Google email address and you can work on a document on the computer screen at the same time, be chatting back and forth. I'm not sure about video sharing and things like that, but it's very collaborative. You can both be typing on the same document at the same time. Okay. And, um, the lab report sheets will be made available to you in uh, Microsoft Word or Excel, if there's a chart or a graph that you have to do. So those can be typed into and edited. Um, you could even print it out and, and, do, and do it by, by hand if, if typing is too difficult to type formulas and equations and, and things like that, okay? So whatever works for you, I'm willing to work with you. All right, so in summary, each lab consists of pre-lab videos and a PDF of the lab theory or practices a pre-lab quiz that must be taken individually, lab videos, and a post-lab report that can be done individually or with a partner, okay? Um, in summary of the grades, uh, the four midterm exams are 30% of your course grade, homework assignments are 20% of your course grade, lab reports are 30% of your course grade, and the final exam is 20% of your course grade. The first lab, I believe, is uh, the week after Memorial Day. So we've got quite a few weeks before we have to start digging into the lab. My office hours are here. Um, they are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 10 a.m. to noon. Um, if you want to uh, have a face-to-face -face conversation like we are now through Zoom, uh, be sure to schedule a time for that through Navigate. I do advising and other people in other classes might um, choose the time that you want to speak with me. Uh, attendance is tracked. Um, if you're not turning in those regular homework assignments or lab reports, uh, you're considered absent. And if you miss more than 25% of the class, uh, you can be withdrawn from the course. Um, there's some advice here. I'll let you read that on your own. I would recommend trying to spend 30 minutes a day um, and I just wanted to mention about the tutoring center. Uh, online through Canvas, there's something called BrainFuse, which is a um, online interactive free tutoring uh, service that DCC subscribes to. You can upload pictures or documents and speak with somebody and they can help you through the chemical concepts and problem solving or things like that. They're not there to teach chemistry from start to finish but they can explain little things that you misunderstand. If you, the more questions you have, the better experience you'll have. We also have the DCC Tutoring Center and um, different students that have been through chemistry in the past, uh, particularly my course, hopefully, uh, can work with you. I know one of the tutors in the past gave their cell phone number to students and they could text in uh, problems. They had group t uh, chats uh, through their phone and she also did Zoom sessions with people who needed much more practice. So uh, that's free as well. So uh, there are some tutoring forms that you can fill in and fill out. If you identify yourself as struggling with math or um, this kind of all this technical stuff from the science and chemistry reading, um, you want to seek and get tutoring as soon as possible. Um, I think that's about it. Um, after this 15 minute video, I'll stop and upload it. And then uh, we'll just get jumping into, uh, into the chemistry concepts in the lecture. So grab a paper and pencil and uh, start taking notes. And I um, wish I could ask if there's any questions, but uh, I guess you'll have to email me if uh, there's something that's not unclear. I'm going to create a discussion board of the frequently asked questions. And I'm just gonna put all the student questions in there because like they say, if someone has one question, 20 other people might have that same question. Okay?